I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. You should have let me go, Law. I drew the short straw. It was my turn. I don't think I'm strong enough to go on without you. I'll never stop searching for a way to bring you back. If I fail, may the architect annotate your place in the equation. Either. I'm assuming a Kande is gonna be up here somewhere. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anticleo, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Are you gonna let me back up? Oh, you are. Thank you. I would assume this room here is her office. How may I be of assistance? I guess you can't. Looks like I won't be able to see her unless I do this thing for her. Ellie, we gotta talk. My second least favorite set of four words. Here we go. You gotta stop treating me with kid gloves. I'm not gonna fall to pieces if you look at me sideways, and I'm not going away. It's fine if you don't like me, but we gotta find a way to work together. For the crew. I never heard you sound this forceful. It's kind of refreshing. He's gone. They finally found him. We haven't been arrested, and no one is looking at us funny. I guess we got away with it. Cute. Spencer's choice to our energy group. Watch out for the now. dissidents actually... Oh, hold on. Firing. We need to find that beacon for that guy doing the Tour of Halcyon thing. The first one is supposed to be in Byzantium. Spacer's Choice Dehydrated Water Tablets. Just add air. Now available in carbonated. It would be helpful if I knew what they looked like. I love Byzantium. Where else are you going to find art? Is Mayfield still drinking? Idiots probably face down on the bar by now. Take it easy. Not like you can get into any trouble past out. Do they not know he's dead? Who found him? So, you really want to be real, huh? Sure do. All right. From now on, you're getting raw, unfiltered Ellie. Hope you got some rubber gloves. changed with my pistol's trigger pull. You been tinkering again? Maybe just a little. Is that all right with you? It's a lot smoother. Thanks. Huh. Happy to help. Is that the unfiltered Ellie? Seems pretty tame. Move along. If I were a beacon, where would I hide?
Did you hear? Marjorie Dalton and Archibald Harris are redecorating with real crystal foam. Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of her? Ah, if it isn't my favorite vagrant in the system, what can I do for you? Still in a good mood, I see. Of course I am. Now I know for certain that this is the pinnacle. There's nowhere more beautiful, and no lifestyle more luxurious. I deserve the very best our society has to offer. I earned it, and thanks to you, I know that I have it. Wouldn't you rest easier too in my position? And all those people being killed doesn't bother you at all? Why would I waste energy being upset over deaths I didn't even know about? And why would the board waste resources on those who aren't productive? Now, do we have any further business, or are you just here for the repartee? Goodbye, Hortense. Hey, Ellie. You ever think about naming it? I always seemed a bit crude, even for me. Besides, how am I supposed to introduce dates to bold Betsy with a straight face? I name all my favorite machines. What's wrong with naming your pistol? Oh, I thought you meant... Never mind. Oh, I've thought about it. Just never came up with anything I could stick with. What were you thinking she meant? What were you thinking of calling Bold Betsy? Is this an innuendo I'm not getting? According to the map, it's over here by that vending machine. My dear fellow, you've known... Spacer's choice. I don't see anything. ZNP pancake mix now requires no mixing. I don't get it. Well, I'm not spending all day here. We'll leave that mystery for another day. Wouldn't it be something to see an Earth Assault Cruiser land here? Don't be ridiculous. There's no way one would fit. How would you know? You've never seen one. Neither have you. I don't know anyone who's seen one. Is it done? I spoke to Chartron. I'm not going to kill her. Well, damn. <gasps> Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species, or are we finished here? You misunderstood Chartron's research. She's our best shot at survival in Halcyon. You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. You think maybe she's got an itchy trigger finger? I don't want to find out. Let's not. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Dead? Center. Next round's on you. Shh, the captain's coming. Put your gun away. Act casual. Oh, uh, um, yes. This'll about do. That's a mighty clean weapon. Yep. Ain't no call for a closer inspection by anybody. Real smooth, guys. I think it's time to pay Phineas a visit. Now arriving at 
Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Well, I don't see Chartron. I guess it's too early. I've kept myself busy in your absence, optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Forget about your chemicals for a second. The colony's on the verge of collapse. What? Oh, yes, well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working labs can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. It gets worse. The chairman's planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. That makes two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. I found your chemicals in the Ministry. The board was testing them on human subjects. Human test subjects? Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. These are all the chemicals I could get. Any more and I would have killed the subjects. That's not enough. Not nearly enough for the whole ship. I could revive a handful of settlers. Maybe, possibly, you know, ten. We're out of time. We're out of chemicals. We may very well be out of options. If the board has their way, we're all going to be spending the rest of our lives frozen in stasis. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. We need to think about this. There has to be something we can do. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all, and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. There is a way. It's not exactly safe, but we could skip the Hope into the system. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! We bring the Hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. The Hope's probably damaged. We'll have to root power from the unreliable. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the Hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Wait, I've got some questions. Certainly. How can I help? 
People aren't going to notice a gigantic colony ship slamming into the rings of Terra 2. Unlikely. The hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. <laughs> I mean it's them who I'm worried about. Should I expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Just so we're clear, you know skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. No more questions, I'm ready. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. The adjutant asked me to plant a tracking signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do it. You absolutely should. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Sarcasm. The last refuge of the witless. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That should buy me some time. You're sure you're okay with this? The enemy is bound to discover my hideout sooner or later. I'm prepared for that eventuality. This is just my way of buying myself a little time. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. That's all then. Send corrupted tracking signal. Board surveillance protocol failed. Signal fidelity has been compromised. This terminal will attempt to establish a new connection once every cycle. Oh, that should do it. You've bought me more than enough time. He does seem to have the colony's best interests at heart. I can't say the same for the board. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Eleorth, you have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. How do I know this isn't a trap? Because I'm not in the business of arresting my own allies. You have my word. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? No, thanks. Let's go visit her then. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. You got a second? What? Felix? You know, 
They're gonna make a serial about our adventures one day. I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of the skip job. No, 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 wait, I got it. Hope in dark times. Get it? Hope? Like the ship. That's what folks in the business call wordplay. Yeah, I got it. Nothing gets past you, boss. In fact, I've been thinking about what we'd call our adventure serial. Thrilling tales of the unreliable. Or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of the system. Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. I prefer the adventures of Taylor and company. Not bad. Got a nice ring to it. Stealing the hope from the board, skipping it across the whole damn system. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I can't wait. Unless we all die horribly. Come on, boss. We're not gonna die horribly. It'd kill our ratings. I'm sure you've got plans to make. As for me, I gotta keep practicing my signature dropkick. The hope might have cameras. What a mess! What a mess! Hi there. I admit part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. What's going to happen to Wells? The signal you sent us is experiencing some interference. My agents will need time to isolate the problem. We're going to monitor Wells until we're ready to make a move. I asked you here to discuss something far more important. I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. There always is for people like you. I appreciate your skepticism, Dr. Fenhill. But I'm not doing this for any personal gain. My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more and nothing less. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse, but there is a way to save it. We need to talk about this lifetime employment program. I'll answer however I can. How long do we have? We've already crossed the point of no return. The collapse has already begun. You must have noticed the signs in Emerald Vale. 
malnutrition, disease, high mortality rates. This is a permanent famine, Captain. We've done all we can to curb their hunger. Very soon, people are going to realize they're starving. A famine is a problem of logistics as well as marketing. Your workers must remain productive on as little food as possible, and they must always believe that food is plentiful. The bloody toothpaste. That's what that research in Roseway was all about. Before you interfered in Roseway, Dr. Anton Crane was on the verge of developing a powerful appetite suppressant. It would have made his career. The solution is a temporary one. Before long, our workers are going to feel the effects of starvation. The Lifetime Employment Program is our only viable option. What's your take on all this? When I first discovered the truth, I was shocked, even disgusted. I wondered how we'd allowed a colony like Halcyon to fall into disarray. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized the colony had sown the seeds of its own destruction. We have become lazy and decadent. We smother ourselves in meaningless bureaucracies. We deliberate and argue and procrastinate. That's a pretty good argument for getting rid of the board entirely. I admit, I occasionally fantasize about making an executive decision without having some tedious committee questioning my every move. Do you have any idea how much paperwork is involved in ordering someone's execution through the usual channels? It's positively maddening. How horrible for you. You don't honestly believe all this lifetime employment nonsense, do you? The lifetime employment program is not some malevolent strategy of an evil mastermind. There's no dark secret buried in the fine print. The program is logical, it's reasonable, it's merciful. And most importantly, it will work. This isn't the only way to save Halcyon. Wells has a plan. Phineas Wells does not have a plan. He has an obsession. He is obsessed with reviving the Hope's colonists, no matter the cost. Halcyon is already starving. We can't possibly introduce tens of thousands of new colonists into the system. Help me execute the Lifetime Employment Program, and you will have earned a place of honor in Byzantium. You will live in comfort and want for nothing. What does any of this have to do with me? When you turned Phineas Wells over to me, I knew I could rely on you. You've demonstrated your ability to place duty above sentiment and you deliver results. That quality alone is enough to separate you from the board's army of indecisive bureaucrats. Not a fan of the bureaucracy, Sophia. Do you know how many meetings I have to sit through? How many papers I have to sign before I can make one decision? I'm only trying to rescue Halcyon from extinction. I can't save this colony alone. I need someone capable of working outside the system. Someone who can get things done. No more questions. Tell me why you wanted to see me. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. Thanks to your meddling, Edgewater is without power. Operations have ground to a halt. You've left us with a useless town draining our resources. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. I get that you board types are all about efficiency, but... Isn't this a bit much? I'm asking your captain to amputate a rotting limb from the colony. I'd expect you to understand, Dr. Finhill. You're a monster. Someone has to be. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. You are completely insane. No, allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. You talk less like a human than mechanicals I've known. I am responsible for every single human life in this colony. Do you imagine I relish the thought of killing some of them to save the rest? Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. I don't understand. What did Edgewater do to deserve this? When you diverted power to the botanical lab, you spelled the end of Edgewater. But the town is still hanging on, still living off whatever meager resources we send them. 
With every passing day, Edgewater leeches more of our limited resources. The town is a rotting limb, and we must be surgeons. The board is responsible for this colony. This is all your fault. Because we were negligent. You're right, the colony can't possibly feed itself. And it's our fault. This is our mess. And the only way we're cleaning it up is by taking action. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. Just like that, Edgewater's not productive anymore, so we wipe it off the planet. We don't have any other option. A colony is on the verge of collapse, and we no longer have the luxury of easy solutions. The answer is no. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be, Captain. I rather like you, and I'd hate to have you shot for disobeying a direct order. Go to hell, Sophia. I'm disappointed. I was so sure you had potential. Make him regret- Wow, even Percival is trying to kill me. Stop hitting me then. Really, Percival? Harlow was rottener than a week old Borst. Big surprise. I mean, yeah, we're time to bring it up, Ellie. Ah, not getting her outfit then. What a mess. I guess any hope of a peaceful conclusion is out the window now. We don't know if the guys down here know what went down, we might not need to kill them. What? Huh? Something's not right.
Okay, let's not hang around. We're still in the middle of Byzantium after all. Don't tell the others I hid behind a vending machine. Okay Ada, let's get out of here. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? What? What? Why are there cows on my ship? You think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday? Be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor? I wonder sometimes. Of course you could, if that's what you wanted. Cows. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is... not flattering. Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever, if I might say, Captain. It was Wells' idea. You know, the guy you just called mentally unstable. We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Tell me about the Hope. The Hope is the Groundbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wandered off and got lost for 70 years, but just recently was found. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her hold. What's going to happen if I skip the Hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Or the Sun. Yeah. This should be fun. You killed the adjutant? We are outlaws in the truest sense of the word now. Yes, we are. And we're probably about to be dead outlaws. Thank you.